Good afternoon, everyone. How's it going? It's the How's it going? Podcast. What if it's six a.m. and they're on their way? I don't give a shit. Very I don't give a day. fuck. I don't care. <gasps> Lauren, that's so rude. So, sorry. <laughs> it's so rude. <laughs> um, um, how's it going? Um, <laughs> do you guys remember the other day? Why did I think of this? What was I? Oh, I was recording an episode. Um, for Rotten Tomatoes about the best fictional American presidents like that we see in movies and uh, TV. Uh-huh. Yeah. It was a really cool episode. You guys would dig it because I know you love presidential stuff. Yeah. Um, and it instantly, I was reminded of the Disney Channel original movie, My Date with the President's Daughter. Do you yes. guys remember this movie? Of course. That iconic yeah. pink dress. The iconic pink dress. Yes. yes. <laughs> you know what's Why really that- annoying? I don't what? remember the movie. Like I know the movie, but I don't remember a single scene. Mm. Me too. Me neither. Mm-hmm. I do. I just remember the pink dress and her flipping her hair. Yeah. But that <laughs> pink dress was like, it was probably like one of the biggest fashion moments that's come out of a Disney Channel. I agree. Film. I mean, nothing oh, sexier to good hair, um, Eric, Eric, um, <laughs> than a little mini pink dress. Yes, love it. Okay, the only thing I remember about it is Will Friedel being the guy that goes on the date. That's the only I only remember this pink dress. I'm looking up pink dress, my date. Okay, you'll with, find it's it. Gonna, oh, it's gonna oh, it's gonna hit you as soon as you see it. You're gonna it's gonna hit you like a uh, ton well, of bricks. Talk about Disney fashion. I think the most iconic Disney fashion moment from like a Disney Channel original is definitely from Wish Upon a Star. With yes. you know her. Yes. What, what is it like? I I'll the see, outfit she wears to prom. Not even the prom outfit. Like I feel like her everyday. The blue, it's like a blue patent I for, I skirt. It. it was like a blue skirt, and then she had a white button up underneath a blue vest. Is that the one Justin Timberlake's in? No, no that's, that's model, model behavior. behavior. Which is Fuck. also an iconic look with the red dress and her like blonde curls. I always get Wish Upon a Star confused with model behavior. I think, Com- yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I always think model behavior is life size, just because model and <laughs> yeah. Things. Like my yeah. brain, my brain is. Wait, I want to watch Wish Upon a Star. What is the you can? Track? It's on Disney Plus. Uh, what I it is? It. Yes. Oh my god, that's so exciting! I know. I, I know. wish I was Alexia Wheaton. I should just yep. name a daughter like Alexia, Alexia, because then she'll just be like Alexia Wheaton. And, What's like, the so other girl's pretty. name? What's the other girl's name? I don't remember. Alexia Haley. Haley Wheaton. Oh, good Haley. job. Yes, guys. I'm not seeing a blue dress when I Google image this. It's not a blue dress. It's a blue <laughs> skirt with a white button up underneath okay. a oh, okay. blue okay, vest. Okay, that makes sense. With okay, yes. white knee socks <laughs> and incredible heels. Yes, this outfit is ever. Yes. It's so clueless. It's giving. Yeah, clueless. it really. Yeah, is. that outfit's so good. That's like okay. the best use of blue I've seen mm. in a while. Mm. Anyways, <laughs> but so it's I her was makeup <laughs> there too. What is it about yeah. her lip liner that's so amazing? She's frosty lips. Frosty so lips, 90s. but frosty yeah. lips, so, they don't look good on me. No. They, it can, yes, it can. You just got to like, you got to commit to the whole thing. I also could not find the song from my date with the president's daughter, which I my was obsessed with the, president's with the president's daughter. daughter. It was so good. It's not on Spotify. It's so frustrating to me because all I want to do is listen to it. Is it a real song or they it just was like did the jingle? No. Well, I think it was a band called the the president of the United States of America or some, some band literally called that, that I think was hired to make, this is me making Mm -hmm. it up. I think they were hired to make a song for the movie and I can't find it anywhere. And it's driving me insane. So anyways, (laughs) I've been in like a punk rock phase because I listen to a lot of old music and I'm realizing that it's like, I love it and it's romantic, but sometimes it just makes me like, you know, it has like a dark tone to it even mm-hmm. like marilyn monroe you know it's like it has a dark tone to it so if you listen to, to marilyn monroe sing yeah i listen to diamonds are a girl's best friend all oh, i love okay. what i okay. i set my alarm to really fun songs and i wake up to that all the time and i feel and i picture myself as marilyn like dripping in diamonds getting out of bed <laughs> what, wow. what image you of yourself up? in the morning yeah. oh my god it's the best i love i love picking a song to wake up to it's so fun the song i woke up to today is see you again by miley cyrus and that oh. song is such a banger i feel like something i hate I'm about you is be- is the best to wake up to <laughs> which song what is seven things i hate about you oh that's a good song just wake up with anger in your heart <laughs> <laughs> wait so i would brought up the punk rock music for a reason so 
I put on some playlist on Spotify, which is like 90s, 2000s punk rock. And this song came on by Papa Roach, Scars. Mm-hmm. You guys remember oh, yeah. that one? And the scales. Scars remind us the, the past, past is, is real. Is real. And, uh, guys, I was like, here I am again in my set. And I was driving and I was like, I tear my heart up. Yeah. <laughs> guys, I don't like any of that music, I but I love that song. Wow. That song is so, it hits every emotional chord. If you're like an intrinsically sad person, like I am, it's like that it's just everything that song is everything but like um, your voice sounds good in it you know there's like a melody it's not like just screamy yeah i think it is kind of screamy well really? i feel like hinder t- um lips of an angel lips we all can angel. get behind right well, yeah <laughs> the lips of people are like it's such angel. a bad song <laughs> message i sing that to dawson sometimes oh really? that's weird dawson's wow. gonna have such an incredible <laughs> 90s 2000s repertoire in his head like someone's gonna sample a song like that in a movie when he's older and he's gonna be like how do i know this yeah it's like my mom said i've lived my mom yeah. would sing yeah. it to me yeah he's well, gonna go to what... he's gonna go lean into kiss a girl i'm like you know my mom says i have lips of an angel no he's not i hope he <laughs> says that you have lips of an angel before he kisses Hopefully. a girl oh god um, listen I think that Jared is going to ruin like all '90s music for Dawson because it's not going to have like any sense of nostalgia because mm. he plays it every single day and um, he's going to play it all the years of his life. So like all those great well, it's not going to be nostalgic Matchbox- for Dawson. What's going to be nostalgic for Dawson is like twenty 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 thirty. No, I don't think that's true. I think what yeah, Jared, I, I disagree. I think what Jared is playing will be nostalgic because for me, listening to the Beatles reminds me when I was little and my dad was playing it. Like that's nostalgic. Yeah, yeah. To me. so by Jared playing it every day, we'll make it nostalgic when he is fifteen. Because okay. that's what he listened to growing okay, up. Okay, fine, fine, yeah, fine. Yeah. yeah. So it's fine. I guess, Let him play it. Okay. All right. Um, um okay, wait, on the ahead. topic real quick of nineties, two thousands, I um went to a lingerie store um a couple of days ago and I was like I had a day where I was like, I want to buy lingerie and eat pasta. Like, that's all I wanted to do. So I went to Florida Mall and I bought this, like, amazing Florida purple. Mall? Floor du Mall. Floor, Florida Mall. Oh, I thought you said uh, the you went Florida, to Florida Mall. mall. <laughs> it doesn't uh-huh. sound like I'm saying yeah. that. I went to Florida Mall yeah. and <laughs> the Claire's clearance rack. No, I'm just yeah. kidding. So, Florida Mall. Um, and I bought this, and I don't even like the color purple, but it was like this rich, like 80 satin purple bra with like matching thong. It's it's so cool. I like put it on and um oh no. Oh She's like this and is why I, I it turned up. myself on. No. And I had a tank I I like put a tank top on and I could see the purple coming out of my tank top and i immediately immediately reminded me of clear straps yes <laughs> oh my like, god what? i haven't thought fuck? about clear straps the longest time <laughs> who the fuck invented clear straps and thought like oh no one will see this i, I don't i don't and know then- <laughs> but we all ate it we all did it you know and then my friend was like it's just like clear braces like people are like oh no one will see it but the, it just turns yeah. yellow and everyone will know it naz way to give me a throwback it was just a shiny bra strap it was worse than seeing it it was worse than and worse. we all wore it we're like clear no one will see it was I like more wear appropriate two. yeah like my mom would be like well, oh okay I don't know. mom was like you can wear it but you have to wear a clear bra okay, strap yeah, yeah. Like, what a throwback like why do we do that but clear braces made me laugh even more because people would like they would turn yellow and you would think mm-hmm. you you know what mm-hmm. i mean i would have i still would have chosen clear i don't remember them turning yellow i still would have chosen them clear braces well, but they still really no I, I had metal all the way Lauren, what did you have i had metal you did but i never put colors on we've already discussed she never this put colors on. yeah, yeah i always just said i want gray but of course, but speak- well, Lauren has been herself her entire life. Yeah, yeah like, so she's, like new- she's like neutral the way it's supposed to be. Yeah. I, um, okay. Meanwhile, so- I'm getting like green and red during Same. Christmas. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> and orange and black during. <laughs> so embarrassing. Wait, I still don't feel like kids get braces these days because I guess the majority of them do, do get Invisalign. Yeah. I know that my teeth were so demented that I couldn't have gotten Invisalign. I would have always needed the actual. Yeah, you Okay. Yeah. yeah we couldn't afford invisalign i fucking wish i had invisalign i don't think that that was a thing like i just don't think it was really like the thing that of our generation to get invis it was it was definitely out it was definitely yeah. out because yeah because i have specific 
memories of sitting in Dr. Kawa's office in South Florida. He's a major orthodontist down there. I wonder if he still has a practice. Um, I remember sitting in the office and be like, mom, I want Invisalign. Yeah. Like they were like, there's this new thing. And she was like, no. It must've been really new, but I don't know if there's a price difference just because like regular braces were so expensive. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I also have no idea how much they were. All I know is that Same. mom would always tell us, that's a very expensive mouth you have right now. Well, I know yes, that my Invis- the Invisalign that I have now is five thousand dollars. Wait, yeah. So I we, wait. For the how whole much set? for the whole for the whole set, the whole shebang? But that's so much money, Ashley. You're right. I never knew because I didn't pay for them, and my yeah, mom yeah. Would, would always say that too. I yep. wonder how much they were. I back feel then. like it's like five to ten thousand dollars. Holy crap! Really? Holy. Yeah, wow, that's how much my wow. My parents sacrificed a lot. I remember we were on like payment plans. Metal braces were from three thousand to seven thousand dollars. Oh, you looked it up already. Yeah. See, it's a well, lot. I mean, I don't know how new this is. Holy crap! How, oh, how much did I? This is what I'm going to Google. How much were braces in the '90s or 2000s? In the 2000s, it yeah. seems like it ranges it from three like to ten. Eight for me. How much were braces in the 2000s? Um, I remember my mom always saying whenever we went to the orthodontist because her every chair in her office was always full. She's she was doing like, the math. This is a very rich. She's a very rich woman. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and there's no emergencies. You're simply just tidying like ten year old braces every day. Yeah. Oh, remember when they had to glue them on? Like when you had needed like a real fresh the set, like, you start oh, yeah. from fresh with that blue yeah. light mm-hmm. and the smell the of it. Oh, and then you had to like have your mouth on the retractor. Oh God. Ugh, the headgear, the worst. Anyways, that those are my little '90s, 2000s throwbacks. This show is sponsored by BetterHelp. So, Lauren, recently I interviewed Zachary Levi for the new Shazam movie, Fury of the Gods. And I, you know, we'll talk about that later. Yes. (laughs) So my favorite, it's a new DC movie, a superhero DC movie that's coming out. Helen Mirren's in it, Lucy Liu. Anyways, so as I was doing my research into Zachary Levi, he's been so outspoken about his mental health. And he was on a podcast and he said a phrase that has really stuck with me. He said, mental health is dental health. Meaning oh. like, oh, so let me explain. Okay. So basically like you have to floss every day in mm-hmm. order to keep your teeth healthy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I truly am in agreement with Zachary that mental health is the exact same way. Most people will you know, they'll, they'll consider seeing a therapist or getting mental help when things are really bad. And to me, I like going to a therapist every week, even when things are good, because yeah. mental health is dental health. I like flossing my brain, so to speak. So I say all that to say, um, better help has really, really helped so many people, uh, like discover therapy, yeah. which is why I love it so much. And I work with a therapist to help get closer to just be the better version of me, not necessarily when things are going crazy, you know, when things are yeah. crazy or they feel over when I'm feeling overwhelming distress. And whenever I leave a therapy session, even if I'm having a good week, it makes me feel empowered and I really mm-hmm. feel more prepared to take on everything that life throws at me. Right. It's kind of like you don't only work out when you've eaten something shitty or when you feel fat or anything. You work out all the time to stay consistent, just like your mental health. Um, I also really like BetterHelp because they offer times that aren't like traditional like nine to five appointment times, like like Monday through Friday, they have so many different options that fit into your schedule. So like you could come home from work, feel overwhelmed, and then you want to discuss it with someone and they'll be there at like 7.30 PM and any mm-hmm. like a lot of different times. And it's very affordable um, and very, very flexible. So if you needed to change something on like really fast, your therapist is very flexible with you. So if you want to live a more empowered life, therapy can get you there. So visit betterhelp.com slash get it today for 10% off your first month. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P.com slash get it. 90s, 2000s. I'm back, baby. I got another one. Um, right, now the, I got another one too. So Lauren, the, go first. The Victoria's Secret. Another one. Another one. The Victoria's Secret pink sets with the roll over that says pink is yes. now sold out at Victoria's Secret. It's of so back. It it's sold out. Wait, of it's course. back. Remember the pink dog? You guys know I used to work the at The pink Victoria's dog Secret. is back. Yeah. You knew this about me. People yes. literally come into to the store and steal the pink dogs because remember they'd be different places. <laughs> yeah. In the, yeah. And, 
It's crazy. Well, shit. So now I mean, even fo- fold over hard tails. That's what we would call them because yeah. that was a brand. The fold over yoga pants. They're back and they are amazing because they fold over and they kind of like hide any like it's an extra layer of fabric to hide like wow. any dimples you want to hide. You know, pink was like our original luxury athleisure, mm-hmm. like for our generation yeah. growing up. Like you would spend like because it was expensive. Like sweatpants were like seventy nine. Yeah, they were expensive. Yeah. Okay, you know what I also want at Victoria's Secret in addition to those pants, I just want like a lacy pink or like teal or bright blue lacy bra to now expose the straps of when I'm wearing a like a a guinea tee that you can see through. Absolutely. A hundred percent, Ashley. I'm, <laughs> I'm there with you. Um, that's all we wore. Cause I would have my like yellow pink sweatpants with mm-hmm. a yellow lacy bra and a white, I'm going to say a wife beater. Cause that's what we called them in 2009. Yeah. Which is so, so crazy. Yeah. I didn't even realize that I was saying wife beater. Me, me, I, me thought neither. I thought it was one saying word. one like word. Yeah. It's wife beater. Wife yeah. beater. A wiff I was like a wiffle ball. Did not well, even register. What's yeah. interesting is um, I feel like when when the 90s Y2K resurgence started to come back into our experience in the last two years, uh, as soon as Dua Lipa showed her, her, showed her thong like above uh-huh. her jeans, I was like, this is going to be a thing. And when I went to the lingerie store, same, I think this is everyone's mindset now. I want to wear that purple bra under a white tank so yeah. that it is shown. Like, and that's so funny. Like, we yeah, literally just it. want yeah. people to see our undies now. Undies are back. <laughs> undies told- are back. I may have said this on the podcast a few weeks ago, but I don't remember. So I'm going to say it again. <laughs> Lauren and I went and we got like those Playboy bunny belly button you rings. Did, yeah. Which I oh, know yeah, I was I rem- talking about. Yeah, I know I've talked about that. Serious. Yeah. But now Jared and I went to Spencer's and Hot Topic. First off, the Twilight shirts are back. So like now they have like Edward and like Team Jacob and like all these sparkly Twilight tees at Hot Topic, which is really cool. But I'm going to try to get my real vintage ones out of the storage mm-hmm. unit. Um, okay. But yeah, so we were at Spencer's and I was like, wait, why do I want to be a 2000 slut? Like all mm-hmm. I want to do <laughs> yeah. is put my belly button ring in, which cannot come through and wear a little playboy bunny fluffy backpack yeah. with with you know low rise jeans and have my stomach hang out like why do i i think like i want to be like now that i'm married and stuff you'd be like oh well now i could be slutty but like i'm yeah. not slutty it's just I, a yeah. look but mm-hmm. i think it's just in it's just in it's which just is why in. you want to do it it's yeah. in but also i think what's so satisfying for us is that back then it was somewhat rebellious for some people i mean my mom was like in south florida it was all brazilian jeans there was a store in sawgrass mall that sold brazilian jeans it was what like are those? one store and it was these pant like stretchy fabric pants that made your ass Ooh. massive yes. and my mom and everyone was like oh my god you have brazilian and we you would literally wear brazilian jeans with chinese sandals <laughs> it was uh, like what? it's like you had every chinese country sandals. on those shiny chinese slip on you know ones china, you know the slip on ones with the netting and the and the they flowers on it they were different Ash. colors they were ugly. Go ahead, c- continue keep talking you keep definitely talking. wanted them and i didn't let you have them <laughs> I, slippers? I had them in neon green, Lauren, and I wore oh. them in every color. Ch- Google Chinese sandals. Yeah, and it'll okay. Come they just up. came. They just came up. Yeah. Do you remember these? Was that a thing up where you They were guys like, were? oh, those things. Yeah. Everyone uh, wore that. Anyways, I don't. I think, think Lauren. What do you mean? These were never a thing in Virginia. I yes, they were. You weren't looking at people's shoes. Okay. Okay. Anyways. I guess I'm just saying, I think it's my, you know, because of that forbiddenness and like how much I had to fight my mom, there's something about me being 32 now, being able to do whatever the fuck I want and yes. wearing a thong above my jeans yes. and my bra out and like no one telling me, you know what I, I mean? I feel like it's tall- he- that's what it is. Skims is in trouble maybe, you know, cause she's making nude underwear that you're not supposed to see. We need some like colorful. <laughs> They'll evolve. They always evolve <laughs> know, and like catch up with the times. Yeah. But are we really going to do this? Like, I know we desire to do this, but there's no way that we are actually going to show our thongs. Now, I will actually show my bra straps, and I'll think I'm super hot, especially come summer. I'll be like, this is a a great look. I have no doubt of this. But there's no way I'm showing thong strings. I would do it. Just depends on where you're going. Say, lovey. You know what's been bothering me lately? Hmm. I Like, I'm, I'm like, not tanned. (laughs) 
<laughs> and so that bothersome. and that is a 90s 2000s qualm is, because like is. especially being a south florida girl like i've been wearing things lately and even like at the golden globes i wore a red dress and it just wasn't hitting right mentally for me and i was like Ugh, it's like winter and i'm just like not the shape like in summer there's something about just that sun kiss that just makes mm-hmm. you feel so sexy I agree. that to me goes with that bra strap and the th- i yeah, don't know you why you cannot be pale and have a bra strap <laughs> cut falling off your shoulder oh, yes you can yes you can <laughs> but to me, it just me. hits yeah. it just hits better when i'm tanner yeah i agree Oh, for um, sure. And I know red, definitely. Red always. Red with the, with me on pale skin, it's just like, oh, Ashley, why did you do that? It, like, brings yeah. out every flaw in my skin. Like, you every little red stinky little spot. pale girl. So, <laughs> oh, my God. Do you guys remember? Oh, my God. I walked by a bookstore. This guy has a really cool bookstore around the Silver Lake Reservoir that's in a van. It's so cute. It's like the world's smallest bookstore. And he had all these cool children's books. Did you guys ever read The Stinky Cheese Man and Fairly yes. Stupid Tales? Yes. Yeah. It, like just hit me it in hit. the nostalgic part of like my heart where I was like, Oh, I loved this book mm-hmm. and I read it so much. And then I, for some reason I've been thinking about children's books a lot. Like I was talking to my friend Nikki and she had a horrible day and she was like, remember that book, Alexander and the no good, very in the terrible, no good, very bad day or whatever. Do you guys I remember, remember that, that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Basically all you need to do is write any children's book and title it something really crazy, like the stinky cheese man and children will read, you know, <laughs> yeah. it's like the big fart man. Like, the one, <laughs> Oh, captain underpants. Remember captain underpants? Yeah. Yeah, well, it was so see, good because the imagination's so wild. It's like and like so you think, fun. oh, I'm being a bad person because I'm not a bad person, but you're being a little rebellious, stinky cheese man, and the naked <laughs> underpants guy. <laughs> Hell yeah, I'll buy that. It's yeah. just it's fun weird. and not boring. Yeah, guys. Okay, so now that you've been thinking about this, and we we're just talking about orthodontists, I'm now. I do you do this where like you think back on like memories in people that were like in your life to a certain degree, like teachers and orthodontists and Mm -hmm. dentists and such and go, I wonder if they're still alive now. Oh yeah. I just said that about Dr. Kawa. I should, Uh, I think that's why I thought of it. I think about this, not like often, but sometimes I'll be like, man, that first grade teacher, I wonder if she's still alive. And then I try to look it up, but I can't ever find it. Yeah, I know. Wow. Kawa orthodontic orthodontics. He's still in Boca Raton. Very good. Wow. This is like a free commercial for him. His office is so insane. I better get like a, I better get money for this. (laughs) I have to send you guys this photo. When you see this office, it's in Boca Raton. It's unbelievable. Okay. I'm going to email it to you, but keep going. What were you saying? Oh, I was just saying that um, when I saw Dr. Zara, my 24 hour trip to LA, she was like, did you talk about me on your podcast? And I was like, yes. We always Wait, talk explain, about you. Explain who Dr. Who Zara, Dr. Zara is. People is don't know. Okay. Well, Dr. Zara is the girl, is like the woman who, an amazing doctor who touches all of our faces. She does everything for all three of us. She's Cosmetic. our witch. She's yeah. our witch. Cosmetic witch. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And I really and like... And Lauren is, if you Google <laughs> CRMC yes! laser, yes! we better get so much fucking money for this podcast. No, yes! If just... you Google CRMC laser, Lauren is the face that pops up. She oh, is. Wait, she really? Is their ultimate I example. Am? Lauren, CRMC, cosme- is it cosmetics? CRMC <laughs> aesthetics and aesthetics. CRMC wellness, because they have two different parts of their office. CRMC wellness is where I got M sculpt after you talked about so, it on wait, podcast. Where am I? Lauren, just Google it. You should be getting kickbacks for that. Like no, images? No cap. Yeah, you, you know, you signed off to show it off. I posted it on yeah, my Instagram. I don't care. I just want to know it's that I'm It's hilarious that you are the, the ultimate picture of their of their office and every like, time every time eyes. i google it every just time i google it i see your face and i laugh so hard that is so funny i had no idea i don't see it but lauren i'll send it to you right okay. now but dr zara was like you talked about me on the podcast and he said we always talk like we reference you all the time and she said that somebody came in and said i listened to you i don't get the podcast oh so I came in. So, yeah uh, look at us here wow. we are encouraging everybody to fly to la and get your work done there because th- what's so great about her is you never have to worry. I'm like, here's my face. Do what you think will look good. That's basically yeah. what I tell her. Yeah. Um, all right. So hold on, hold on, hold on. Open your emails, please, before we move on. Okay. Hold on. It just it said se- okay. It just sent. I hope it worked. I screenshot a bunch. Like 
Look at the three photos I sent. I don't have anything. You don't have just anything wait, either. Just wait. Just wait. Just give it a second. It's going to space and coming okay, back. That's okay. what my dad always says. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't gotten it. He's like, give it a second. It's going to space. <laughs> <laughs> that is so your dad. I got it. Yeah. I got it. It came from space. Yeah, right? exactly. I'm still waiting for my space email. Just reload, Lauren. Jesus. She just I continues to want to promote this guy so she can get paid from No, Dr. that's Kyla. not. What do I care? My Holy te- fuck a What is this, a spaceship? <laughs> Yo, wow. it's unreal. That's... It's like being underwater. Oh my, this his, is so cute. His office is literally oh, from floor to adorable. ceiling covered in like, you feel like you're in the inside of an aquarium. It's like turtles on the ground, dolphins on the ceiling. It's wow. unreal. No, That's it's really cute. Wow. You guys just said, wow. Like Jennifer Coolidge. Wow. 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 Oh, oh, Owen Wilson and cool. Yeah, Owen Wilson and her said like, the same thing. Yeah. They need a date in a rom com and just go they just, wow, wow when they both see each other or after yeah, they that, kiss. That that would be really funny. I did say on here that I thought that I really didn't really care for the second season of White Lotus. Did we talk about that? I I can't entertain this conversation. I'm I'm sorry, but I can it's I just so say the one good. Can I entertain one, another conversation? But wait, I just want to no. say the one part that made me <laughs> laugh. <laughs> the one part that really made me laugh was when she goes they were having gay. He's like, well, I think he was having sex with his uncle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, almost worth watching the whole seven. That hours was for. better than these gays are trying to kill me. Yeah, yeah. yeah they're, they're yeah. so good. <laughs> yeah, that one was good too. <laughs> did you guys oh, watch the fact her? That she kept referencing them as gays. The that gays. was really the yeah. gays. Yeah. Did you guys watch her speech at this at the Golden? That Globe? was yeah. also it's, worth watching the whole series for. It is if no, if you were listening this podcast and you haven't seen it please play that it's so beautiful she makes mike white cry who's the creator and she i mean we think of famous people and she even talks about how she went from little job to little job and how she was like american pie i'll do a million of those as much Mm -hmm. as (laughs) she's like i'll milk that and we forget you know that like people like that struggle and she just says she's like my neighbors are talking to me now and yeah, i was like was dying funny. laughing yeah. <laughs> so funny yeah. she's yes. the best she's um the best. naz have you ever met pedro pascal okay yes i interviewed him at d23 the most and tell me about your experience and how like how many how how many panties you had Wait, to wear who's pedro pascal what I mean, I, what guys, ashley i'm sorry i'm sorry i hate myself right now pedro. no you're just you're just Oh, no. <laughs> to be fair, no, you're not. A lot of people don't know who he is. A lot of people, you know, I'm a major Star Wars fan. Pedro Pascal has been around he's for a, a while. He's a Mandalorian. He's a Mandalorian. You never okay. see his face because he's a Mandalorian in Star Wars. But now he is in the hottest show right now on HBO called The Last of Us, which is based on an acclaimed video game. It's the hottest club in New York City. It's the hottest, hottest club, in, club York in New York City. City. There's actually for <laughs> men Wait, what is that from? Is that it's an SNL? SNL guy? It's an I SNL mean- skit. He's like, what was his name? He would be like, you sh- you got to enter through a toilet, and then he'd cover his <laughs> mouth, and, be like, and then you have to wear peacock feathers. But yeah. to get in, you have Stephane. to say the word. Poop. Andrea said Stefan Bill Hater did okay. it. Okay, okay, okay. So oh, I gotta he watch that. Legitimately, was Lauren <laughs> like he was the gay version <laughs> of Lauren, and Lauren would take it dead seriously when she was a cokehead in New York. I'm like, no, it's the coolest. They throw poop around the room. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's it's so just like fucking the, funny. Like the box. She's like the coolest club in all of New York City. They put bottles up their asshole. Oh, you think that's gross? It's beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Wait, that's such good like club culture commentary. So, yeah, because it's uh, people do act like it's yeah. like next level. people walk around with swords down their throats only. <laughs> Wait, I okay, can't wait to anyway, watch this Anyway, skit. the hottest club in New York is Pedro Pascal. Pedro Pascal is the it man of the moment. The Last of Us is on HBO. I'm just watch it. Like two episodes are out right now. Um, at the time of you know whoever's listening to this, the week that this podcast comes out. Um, anyways, Pedro Pascal has the most daddy energy. Yes, his yes. voice, his yes. presence, Ashley. It is like. Like, he's it, like it's the intense. Mas- it's he's intense. so masculine. Like it's intense. No, but he's he actually is so feminine too, and absolutely. I think that's why he's literally the perfect mix of both energies. Mm-hmm. And 
man, it is. He, he's a daddy. He's. A daddy I did a little like right research now. on his like dating history. He basically has never dated anyone longer than one week, and Whoa. the last girlfriend he has in nineteen ninety or is something. He, is he? What? Well, because a part of me is like, I wonder if he's you know open by fluid. Like, I wonder what he identifies. As. I actually am not sure. I was like, it is he gay? He's an is he straight? Outspoken advocate for LGBT plus. Clients. Yeah, I feel like he may be. I think he seems fluid. If you, I think maybe. he may be Harry Styles, where like God makes people like that just available for everyone i agree i because agree i feel like he should be energies. tied down and just yeah. do whatever you will he's just having a great time but that's super interesting that you said that lauren because one time i went to a premiere lauren one time i went to a premiere i forgot what movie it was and he was there and he wore a satin robe mm. like on top of pant and now he's like eccentric like it's that harry styles energy but like yeah. to the next level like a grown man you know but he would fix your car and like help you with any like hands-on things as well yeah yeah okay well lauren interesting that you said that because his wikipedia his personal life is so small and there is no mm-hmm. ladies There's listed no- so yeah he's private he's private which he's we like private men okay well i'll check them out but but you know i'm always down for a new mini it's a mini series on hbo i know mm-hmm. I, it's just a show it's an actual it's show. A show and i'm sure it'll have like multiple seasons it's, it's like, gonna it's the walking dead feel i feel like it'll be like six seasons or something it's incredible it's so well done ash you you should hop on now what, okay all right well it's a good time to hop on since there's only two episodes like i can handle that yeah and there aren't many big shows out right now I there's feel like this nothing is the sh- this is the show but mm-hmm. i mean tv and movies are going to be insane this year it's really crazy can i just say one thing because i watched two television shows yesterday wow, wow. i know wait yes. wait i'm so proud of you because i know that's like what you've been wanting to do and what you love well really it was it was at uh, 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock, and it really was because after the football game, this show called Accused was on. Mm, it rolled it. over. You know how they, they really get you when they, like, Yeah, they start it right away. After, like, the divisional <laughs> game, the divisional games, the championship game, the Super Bowl, you always end up watching the shows that they, like, premiere after those because it's just easy. You just keep it on, and then you're like, but this one hooked me. And it's interesting because it's a Fox show and it's just each episode, it's, it's an anthology. So okay, there's different. It's an anthology. Nice. So that's I really that. easy, really easy. I didn't know it was an anthology when it started. And I think because the plot was moving so fast because of that, but mm-hmm. I didn't know. I was like, holy crap. And you're just like on a roller coaster for mm-hmm. an hour. And I was like, oh, this show's got me for the long haul. And then at What's the end, it, about? it wrapped up. Well, it's just like all these stories, these court cases about like people who are. Um, accused of certain things and it's like you kind of watch the the, the flashback in the courtroom scenes at the same time you know got it in the same Aren't they're guilty or it's different in each case I th- i'm assuming it's different in each case in case yeah interesting blackbird if you're in a true crime blackbird is limited series on apple the tv best. plus absolutely i immaculate. think that was probably one of my favorites of last year yeah yeah and uh what's his name taryn Ter- edgerton Ter- is so fine Naz, now let me tell you when we saw rocket <laughs> we gotta talk about him in this yeah uh, when we we saw rocket man together and then you were like oh my god he's so cute he's so great and i was like you are fucking crazy but then you see him in blackbird where he's a criminal and then you're talking my language you know <laughs> he, he now he's so... now he's defying the law and he's lauren's type no I honestly can't. no it's crazy because Elton John is such a stark contrast to who he plays in Blackbird. So Blackbird is the true life story of a guy named Jimmy Keene, who was a criminal drug dealer. He wrote a book about this. It's like, Mm -hmm. honestly, the craziest thing ever. Goes to jail for that. And then the FBI or the CIA, I can't remember who, um, basically asks him to move to another like prison to like lower his sentence and to because he's so charming and nice so and charming to get information out of this guy who they really believe is a serial killer yes. it's a real story that's all I'll say it's so well done it's six episodes i think i think it's six unfortunately i could watch that man work for a long Same. time and his co-star won best supporting yeah paul walter hauser has won the critics choice award and the golden globe for playing larry hall oh my god killer. okay like i know it's he's annoying so to creepy. listen to this when you haven't seen the show but his voice is so creepy if you want to see a creepy almost sympathetic serial killer this and like you don't really know how to feel you're kind of like teetering because yeah. he's so sympathetic 
It's amazing. Love That's it. why I think his performance is so yeah. crazy. Yeah. You know, yeah, because like, he was oh, like, he's like kind of like he finally has a friend. I'm not going to get into this. Yeah. Anyway. Anyways, watch it. Taryn's like Taryn's great. Taryn's damn. He may be Taren's short, but I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> Lauren, you are so funny. Okay. I'm what dead. other I don't get it do you have this week? Because I think okay. Pedro Pascal is just my number one. Wait, I not, love that you said that. Okay. I have one that Ashley, you're going to. I, I want us to all discuss this. Uh-huh. Ashley posted something, and this is not an attack. Mm-hmm. Ashley posted something on Instagram. Oh, I forgot. No. Attack? <gasps> no, it's. I said it's not an attack. Oh, Ashley, you posted. You don't agree with me. No, I just want us to talk about it because I want clarification from you because I just wasn't believing it. So you posted a meme. I wish I would have screenshot it. I forgot what it was. But it, I think it was Candace Bushnell, the writer of Sex in the City, saying, like, everyone talks about Aiden and Big, but, like, what about Harry Goldenblatt yeah. or whatever? Yeah. Yeah. And you posted it. And my immediate thought was, Ashley would never go for a Harry Goldenblatt. Like, why are you <laughs> posting this? This is so out of character for yeah. you. Why yes. are you even championing this sentiment? You would, that, never, you would never. You would absolutely never. Absolutely. The most poignant an accurate statement you've ever had towards It's just me. the one you should... It's just the guy you should go for, But right? Ashley Is posted it, and I'm like, bitch, you would never yeah, fucking I know. go for a guy like yeah. that. Oh, my God. You're so right. But, like, you you are smart enough to go for a Harry. <laughs> Naz, you're nice enough to date a bald man who's kind. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that is true. I love Larry David, uh, and I love Jer- Jewish men. <laughs> Jared has been doing something very hairy like lately. Instead of putting tea bags everywhere, he leaves his popsicle wrappers everywhere. Oh, <gasps> that would drive Jared. me insane. Next to the bed, on the desk, on the coffee table, and I'm just like, ah, oh, this is this is his Harryism. Mm, that's, that's the worst part. That's the only thing Harry's wow. ever done that's criminal. You know? That wow. would drive me insane. I don't know. There's a couple weird things that he, he did, especially. Especially the new, the and just like that. I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Yeah. I had a wonderful package delivered last week, um, and it was filled with Next Evo products. And I recently have gotten into a terrible habit of taking Advil PM before I go to bed. Um, I know that's not like great for you because I don't need the pain benefit of it. I just want the sleeping benefit of it. So Next Evo came to my door at the perfect time. It's CBD. It's a whole bunch of different CBD products, but the one that I specifically take um, helps me with my trouble falling asleep. And usually I'm great at falling asleep, but sometimes when I have a really long day and I'm like in my head for a really long time, my my brain won't stop. So this helps me with my trouble sleeping and I got Hunter on it. He takes the one for energy. So we got tons of Next Evo, Next Evo CBD products. I love Next Evo natural CBD products. So the different types of things that they have are capsules, gummies, mints, topical creams. I'm like such a gummy girl. Mm -hmm. The reason why Next Evo is so revolutionary though is because you guys have heard us talk about CBD on the podcast before. So there's this thing called Smart Sorb Technology. And basically it improves CBD's ability to be absorbed into your system in as little as 10 minutes. So In comparison, most CBD oil, which you will find in tinctures, gummies, and capsules, actually just achieves between 2 to 10% absorption, which means that there's like at least 90% of what you think you're getting is actually getting wasted. So that's why Next Evo Naturals are amazing. They're scientifically formulated to deliver more CBD in a way that your body can actually use it. That's amazing. And you can feel it um, and get it into your system as in within 10 minutes of taking it, which is honestly better than any other kind of sleep aid that I've ever taken. Um, And also, Naz, love the gummies. If I can eat anything for good for me in a gummy form, I will do it. (laughs) I know, right? So I don't know who would... And the mints, too. Like, might as well make your breath good um, while chilling (laughs) out. So make CBD a part of reaching your full potential. Try Next Evo Naturals capsules, gummies, mints, and topical creams with Smart Sorb technology clinically proven to be better absorbed by your body. Get 20% off your first order of $40 or more at nextevo.com slash pop podcast and then use our code get it that's 20 percent off n-e-x-t-e-v-o dot com slash podcast with the promo code get it okay so you 
Naz, I heard that you have a list of topics. Would you like to go? Um, my, they're kind of whack, but they, they whack. I like drove by someone's house with a Christmas tree in it, and I was so judgy. I was oh. like, I was like, um, that needs to go down. <laughs> <laughs> People have Christmas trees up still in January. Like, come yes, on, January's fine. It's it's January's fine. No, it's it should January's, not be it's, up. It's before, the, it should go down before New Year's. No, it shouldn't. No, Where did you no, grow up? No. Everybody know. knows that New Year's is like the first day that like it's appropriate to pay, take it down. And then I think that you can wait to the second week of January. Okay. I don't know. I'd be, I'd, be am- I'd be amenable to that, but not like January 23rd. I don't want to trick myself into thinking it's actually Christmas still because that joy needs to be saved for Christmas. Right. Yeah, for, exactly. for sure. For sure. But like definitely keep it up after after until New Year's. But Naz, what did you grow up with? I mean, you guys know I only had fake trees growing up. So, so? my mom would put it away before New Year's. For real? I think so. Actually, that's not true. She so. probably she probably kept it up a couple times. I don't know. We had fake trees too. That doesn't make a difference. The only thing is, like with the the real, the real trees, tree, they're gonna dry it's out. It's dead. Yeah. yeah. Whatever. It's my. I don't get it. And then, okay, well, that's sad. I feel sad for you for feeling that, but I also <laughs> totally get you because I'm. Currently judging myself because I realized today. The Do you Christmas still have your tree up? The Christmas trees are still up at Audrey's. Oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh, at a coffee shop? No, yeah, Ashley. So that's you got to get down. over there. It's, you know what? But these are the things that, like, Jared runs that place so he, well. Because he, he takes so much he joy in Christmas. He doesn't, doesn't want to take it down. He doesn't think about that. Like, like oh, man, this is inappropriate unless it was a coffee shop that was christmas all year round otherwise i'd be down for that i'd be down to go feel the christmas spirit at Mm -hmm. a place where i get holiday drinks well did you know last year we actually kept the trees up and we made them valentine's day trees so we have like a whole bunch of heart ornaments and stuff like i could do that that. we'll do something change it (laughs) i don't know how i feel do something do something um also i was as i was driving and i saw this tree another another thing happened another i don't get it popped in my head where someone was like driving poorly in front of me and i actually don't really get irked by people like to the level that other people like lauren i'm opposite of lauren like i Mm. I feel like lauren it really consumes you and you like get really annoyed with people driving bad yeah because idiots I get like a little annoyed. I'm like, ugh, you know, and then that's the that's the extent of it. But I found myself going, ugh. What were they I, doing? I forget. You know me. I don't have a good memory. I don't know. Maybe like going to my lane like too quick without the blinker on, no. or I don't know what it was. But I ended up bes- uh, next to this car like moments later. And the guy was so hot. And oh. I literally wrote down that I will excuse poor driving behavior if people if are hot. good looking. <laughs> <laughs> that's horrible well, that is horrible i was like ugh, and then i was like oh a little <laughs> uh, yeah it makes eases eases the blow yeah. um yeah only like you know obviously you're attracted to the you know if you like you want to hook up with them for sure yeah we've talked but about a pretty this girl before. i'd be like even more annoyed almost <laughs> of course you would <laughs> <laughs> Lauren has curled her eyelashes 17 times in the middle is, of this podcast. I actually have only done my right eye once, you dinkus. I've <laughs> I haven't curled my left one. So here you go. This is my left eyelash being curled. Okay. Okay. I think we've talked about this before, but you know, after how many episodes, I've even lost count on what hundred we are. We're in the three hundreds. Yeah. Um you know, things will be repeated. Isn't it just wild that like if somebody like cuts us off? Yes, we say yes. you say fuck you or you're pieces. an asshole yeah. you're an asshole like what maybe i just didn't see you in my mm-hmm. mirror and you were my blind spot doesn't and then make people, you an asshole i know and then people like flick you off like if you yeah. make an accident yeah and i'm like you are saying fuck you to me you are looking at a one person that you don't know and you're saying fuck you because they <laughs> probably accidentally 
Yeah. Just in, one like this a little bit. Lightly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you wouldn't look at someone in an elevator who like yeah. leaned into you yeah, and, yeah. and look at them to the left and be like, fuck you. Yeah. yeah. Could yeah. you imagine yeah. if somebody bumped into you a little bit while walking at the yeah. mall or something? Yeah. yeah. And you yeah. said, fuck you. There's a joke. <laughs> yeah. I stole that from a stand up, I think. Yeah, it was stand up. Oh, really? who, who was yeah, it? Yeah. Anyways, uh, yeah, exactly, Ashley. I 100% agree. And that's why I don't really get mad anymore. I'm like, People have so much rage on the road, and it's, it's really just, weird. It's like, incomprehensible. Get, get so angry at somebody who definitely just made a mistake. Like, nobody, like, how many times is it out of, out of malice? It's like we, we would be robots if we didn't make mistakes. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Totally. Anyways, um, and then one of my I, I don't get it was yeah. that I say the word cool a lot. Like, cool, cool, <laughs> cool. Is, is like cool, like, an evergreen term or oh, is that yeah. like dating me to like saying groovy at this point you know <laughs> no it's ever it's evergreen is it but, evergreen yeah i don't but think remember kids how say cool was, remember how we used to say in the 90s neat oh that's, that's neat so neat, mm. neat. That's, mm-hmm. i used to say neat all that's the time neat. i that's think nice. i still sometimes do it's neat yeah it's funny because i do think cool is evergreen where it's not tied to a certain time period but i but I think you guys know that I say dope a lot. And I'm like, yeah. I wonder if I sound old. Because I feel like that's what people said in like the 70s. Yeah, I'm like, see, oh, I that's think dope. Dope, I feel like was 10 years ago. Yeah. So do I, when I say it, do I sound out of place? Does it sound out of place? That reminds like, me of the of the cringy Bella Hadid interview when she was looking at the speakers. <laughs> she's like, she's like that, that's boy's going to get it. That's dope. And I'm like, ew please refrain but that so, wasn't all on the word i think people just hadn't heard in bella's defense you know like her yeah i don't know dope and, i feel like yeah. borderlines like yeah i it could be dated but i'm just wondering when i say cool do you think i'm dumb but i guess it's i don't think you are i say cool all the time and okay. i love saying cool 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 cool, cool, cool. cool. yeah cool, cool cool it's really fun to say i actually also, hate that Oh really? Yeah. Let's do it when she gets when she sits back down. She's oh no. Up wait, what does she now. hate? Oh my goodness! I forget what she hates, but Why I'll think about hate? it. Wait, Lauren, text. Okay, so for everyone listening right now, Ashley stood up to do something with Lois, so she's not listening to Lauren and I speak in this present moment. And Lauren, you should say that. Text me the word, and then oh, on our yeah. next podcast, oh, yeah. we'll just say it a lot. Absolutely, and we won't tell her. Okay. <laughs> Okay. And oh everyone my God. will know now I, that that's what's going to happen and people could try and guess the word next podcast. Okay, well, I know she hates when people say fuck me, right? She hates fuck me, right? Okay, so what if we, what if next podcast we're just, we just keep saying I don't get it and we're like, fuck me. Oh, I remember. Shut your mouth. Shut, shut, shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. Shut your mouth. That's okay. what it is. Yeah. Okay, so everyone listening, next podcast, Lauren and I are just going to sneak that in organically. We're going to lay it out like every five minutes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or the word. <laughs> amazing i love it oh my god i love it so much i love it so much um lauren do you walk do you walk gurgi is he a Um, walking dog you know he loves walks i am a bad mom and i don't do it that often i usually just will let him out in the backyard because like the backyard's a lot of walking for him he's so tiny so i don't really bring him on walks but when i was in la that's all he did was walks like four times a day yeah okay because the other night, I went for a walk at night, which I'd mm-hmm. never do. But I live in a pretty safe neighborhood. But I was scared, actually. Yeah. It's and scary. And I was like, whoa. I was mm-hmm. like, it actually is scary being a woman. And then I was like, why is this scary to me? I walk this all the time during the day. All it means is that the sun just isn't like on this side right now or whatever. Yeah. yeah. You know, the way the earth's rotating. And <laughs> it was really scary. And then I saw another girl walking alone eventually. And I was like, oh, thank God. But she had a dog. And I yeah. was like, oh, I'm like, would any, like, I wondered if you walked around at night alone with no dog. Um, No, I would not do that. Yeah. I wouldn't do that for safety reasons. Also, I right. wouldn't want to walk for myself. I'd only walk with a dog. But yeah, yeah that's it's like, terrifying. I love scary dog. I love scary dog privilege. That's why we would totally get another big scary dog. Um, mm-hmm. hopefully, but it's not like I walk that much. Like if I was in the city, I would definitely get a scary dog privilege. Um, yeah. but at night when I was in LA walking Gurgi, I would definitely be on FaceTime with someone or okay. on a call just so like, in yeah, case anything happened. Yeah. Ashley, we were talking about me walking around. I, 
I missed, like I had so much work during the day that I missed my day walk. And so I went walking at night and it was terrifying. Yeah. Like with no dog. Yeah. Um, they actually say that it's more dangerous for you to be on your phone and you pretending like to use that as a sense of security because then you're supposedly you're unaware of your surroundings. And yeah. Where, yeah. No. And you but look more vulnerable in that you moment. You do look more vulnerable, but at least someone would be like, oh, Lauren just got abducted. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I know. How do they fight that, that ex, you know, excuse? Exactly. Yeah. Crazy, crazy. If you guys forgot, or if you guys remembered, because I forgot, that we were supposed to continue the conversation about the double standard of which yeah. I can, like, look at guys look at and guys, talk yeah. about guys. Oh yeah, someone sent Jared me a message can't. about this. Oh really? Yeah, but I don't have my phone on me. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna Well what was the gist? Tell. I don't remember, but it's ten ten where <laughs> I am. Ness doesn't Woo! remember anything today. Do you know how much information I take in like on a daily <laughs> basis? Like shows, actors, what people are doing, my job, heartbroken anonymous, messages I read. Like I how could I ever I'm remember not being all of that? Rude. I'm just throwing your words back at you because you said that you don't remember anything. Yeah, I um, don't know. Okay. Well, I wanted to actually have that conversation with Jared while he's here. And he's not here right now. But it did think of, it did make me think of something else, which I actually think it's a little inappropriate. Like, you know, I think you're allowed to look. Um, but I don't know that you should really, like, daydream. But I was thinking today, I was like, I miss daydreaming so much. <laughs> yeah. But literally have not daydreamed in years. I didn't realize how much I missed it until like. So, are you trying to get back on the daydreaming track? Yeah. So or? what I did yeah. was <laughs> you need to da- actually you no, need to because it's so I don't part mean of daydreaming you. about my future and my goals. I mean, like daydreaming I didn't say about that. A man. I didn't yeah, say that. Can't, you can't. You don't daydream about your husband after you've been with each other for five years. If you are married, you are allowed to daydream about, about somebody a else. Random, pr- yes, really? yes, it's yes, it's your fucking brain and imagination. But here I am on a podcast saying it publicly. Who cares? You're done. Okay. Oh, it so doesn't matter. Lauren, I know I Lauren daydream has daydreamed all the time, I, and it gives me motivation. <laughs> so I remember you, you recently yeah. saying. Um, you were like, I think about so and so, but I don't remember who you thought you were thinking about. You know, I do. You oh. know, oh, it's somebody who's know? not famous. It's not a. It's not a fame, right? Do I know Lauren? Yes, yes. Okay. In the Mac, yes, you do. You know, he's okay. in Lauren's circle of the world. Um, she's spelling out words right now. <laughs> With her hands. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's sorry <don't>, we're so <laughs> annoying oh by the way if, if if only people had video to see us doing oh, our thing yeah, yep yep well, that may be coming soon, down the line at some they point have video yeah i don't soon. get it listeners oh that okay that's very interesting that you said i am allowed to daydream because i was like today i was like okay i'm gonna do it and it's gonna be fun and um it at first i was like man it's gone the muscle is gone but then i started getting you gotta drive I, I, you, you gotta you gotta you mean you gotta like get on training wheels first no, no drive. Drive in the car. Dri- oh my god actually oh. drive and listen to taylor swift yeah. drive yeah but when i listen to taylor in the car all i think about is past stuff well oh. i'm just it's just an example like drive and listen to like a cinematic score i don't know i was daydreaming about running into them I don't think it's cheating. You're allowed to daydream literally about whatever the fuck you want. That is what you own. And if that makes you happy, that's what you should do. Honestly, it would never really be sexual. It would just be like, I would daydream about flirting. See, it's just like sexual, but sexual daydreaming is also allowed. I don't know if I believe in that. Well, that's your own dumb rule. And you're (laughs) going to live life to your own dumb rule, not having as much fun. That's literally what that is. What well, it's it's the inside of your brain. There's no judge. It's yeah, like, like I can't t- I can't say Ashley, that's, you're that's not wrong allowed to I do, do it. it. I do it. Yeah. No, but like, that's I, I. You know, you guys. I get way more high off like flirting and sexual tension and like yeah. the chase than I do off actual sex. <laughs> so I think that that's why. Um, well, yeah, you're talking yeah. to an Aries here. <laughs> this is like literally my wheelhouse. It's the best. 
Well, no, but I'm a Pisces who doesn't daydream right now. Like, I got I married mean, and I don't daydream anymore. It sucks. I know. I'm saying, like, flirting is like, just flirting is the most fucking fun thing in the world. The I flirt in, in my world. interview. It's like you can. I am a flirty well, yeah, person. Yeah, you get to flirt. flirt in your interviews, which is so fun. It's not no, like a, but not a, even a, in a sexual overtly. way. Actually, yeah. I flirt with you guys. No, like, I know. Flirting is flirting isn't a sexual energy. It's a it's playful. It's fun. Like you're yeah. just flirty. Yeah, Lauren. I want to like. Well, I feel if, like I'm rusty, and I and I just want to like get you know, just see if it still works. Yeah, you guys need to flirt. Flirt with like a coffee person. Flirt with a friend. Flirt with your mom. Like, just flirt. Um, I don't know. I guess you could say that I'm flirty when like we have bachelor guys come to like Audrey's and stuff. Jared always says that. He's always like, he you guys are talking about, about sexual attention, like I, like attraction and energy, right? Well, You're yeah. not just talking about okay. Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm just talking, speaking generally. You're you need to you're set, you're mixing playfulness and flirting. I think I think you can flirt with like obviously like uh, the the gender that you're not attracted to, but I still think predominantly. Let's just use the overarching like the definition of the word, which is usually like trying to attract somebody. Mm-hmm. Lauren, yes. What if Hunter was having sex fantasies? Right, about I wouldn't somebody be else? happy, but I couldn't tell him no because. <laughs> whoops <laughs> do it myself yeah you know see i like yeah. the double standards thing like i gotta let it slide on both sides you gotta yeah, i know you gotta let yeah. it go on both sides yeah yeah oh, there's no double i standards. wonder if jared daydreams about anyone i don't Probably. think so you don't think so but no one would think i do yeah well what's i think more offensive than actually like i think this is i don't know which one would you less want your significant other having very um like non-intentional daydreams about somebody else or them constantly reminiscing on a past love the past would be bad worse i believe but who knows because I'm not going to say anything else about myself. <laughs> no, <laughs> my so what thoughts, do you think? My thoughts on this are way deep, which would have to like bleed into another podcast because you know I'm all about unlocking. <laughs> so this is the, our theme that's just going to keep running yeah, through the I'm podcast. I'm unlocking the why, yeah. and as as I continue to evolve as a human and and try to learn and be more conscious and just be more loving and love, I I think it boils down to for me personally. To ownership and like why do we feel like we own right. someone else i remember going through every breakup just being like oh he better not fucking date someone like me you know or yeah. whatever and it's like what is i had to look within myself and look in the mirror and be like what what is it that makes me think that i own another human being right. <laughs> and i think yeah. it's that energy of ownership that kills everything yeah. and so if i have a partner i'm like if you want to daydream about Carmen Electra or our neighbor, I, I have no say. Don't tell me. Maybe that'll make me feel better personally. Yeah. I don't know. But like, it's like, let's stop acting like we own our partners. It's mm. such low vibration and like archaicness. Okay. I can see that, but I also feel like I am archaic. <laughs> but that's, but it's like, if it bothers you, then you need, you should look within you and be like, why does this make me insecure? Why do I not feel whole that I feel like if Jared thinks about a woman, it's all of a sudden all down the drain. Like, it's crazy. That's yes. Um, it's not. But, but I will and you want to do it too. You just touched though that's on it. something. See? You just, no, you just touched on something that was also massive in this conversation and that is do you know the person or is it a celebrity daydream because i am obviously daydreaming trying to about joe burrow and ah ah you know, this is something else yes, yes. yes this is and then, yeah yeah so that's very harmless and yes. that but if jared was if we had a hot neighbor or jared was t- was daydreaming about somebody at work no but i don't care if he was daydreaming about like a, like emma stone yeah, I think 100% I agree with what you're saying. I think what I'm trying to say is we can't help. We don't choose. So if Jared was, a, if that happened to Jared about the neighbor, that's something Jared should say out loud. And you would be like, no, that's not okay with me. But that doesn't mean that that goes away. <laughs> like, yeah. Have you guys seen Fleischman is in trouble on Hulu? Yes. No. Yeah. Do you, so you remember she was like, obviously Claire Danes' character was like, kind of daydreaming about the other guy in the friend group yeah you guys should watch that show it's based on a book ashley you would 
I don't you think Ashley would love that show? Yeah, Ashley, that's Dad a limited loves that. series. Dad loves that show. Oh, really? Yeah. I love limited series. It just feels like a smaller commitment. And it's about a doctor, and it's Jesse Eisenberg, Claire Danes, and Lizzie Kaplan. That sounds love like it. something that Jared could actually get into. Just yeah. because you, Jesse Eisenberg. You guys would both love this show. It's very, it's it's very, uh, it's emotional. It is. It's about love and divorce and being in your forties and having kids and people that live in New York and like, but it's the Claire Danes. I told you, no one can cry like Claire Danes. I That's know. So I was so watching. I'm like, crazy. how is she doing it? She is the worst cry, but means the best cry. The best crier. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. All right, guys. Okay. Um, thank you for listening well, to us ramble today. Ashley and also send the DMs. I, I've been really good with DMs, guys. Like, I've been really you, reading and, uh, most of them and responding to like a lot of them as well. So if you have something to say on this blurry line of like what is okay and uh, not okay when it comes to crushing in a committed relationship on somebody else let me know and we will actually read these comments on next week's podcast and hopefully i'll have jared here and he can like give his feedback guys we're really loving and accepting the um joe burrow videos you're you've been (laughs) sending but also i'm (laughs) in the market for some evan peters fan videos because that's my number one man so we'll, we'll we're gonna start doing like a little TikTok of us watching our celebrity crushes coll- collabs and montages. So wait, people have been sending welcome. you Joe Burrow TikToks? Yeah, you guys send them to me too. Okay, okay. <laughs> all right, bye guys. Ashley's getting okay, bye. jealous. <laughs> <laughs> wait, no. Before we go, Ashley, did you not watch the one I sent you? You did of not respond. I did. I didn't respond. Ooh. I think no. it's fainted. Oh. I'm sorry. It's because I already seen it a number of times. Oh, it was damn it. when late. I saw that though, it was so crazy because it was the day after we recorded mine. Got it. And I was like, really? This Got is, it. I'm not unique. Ah! I'm certainly not That's unique. Hilarious. It seems like so no. many married women are watching Joe Burrow TikToks. Yeah. Well, because what- he's a, well, technically, according to your theory, he's someone that, you know, you, you guys don't know personally. So it's okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. All right. I love All everyone. Right. All right. Bye. 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 I don't get it. Podcast.